Hi all, welcome back to Single Pouse. Uh, this is my eighth game in the streak. We're starting our ninth. We've got 247 points. Uh, five artifacts. We recently upgraded this one to poison. Seems pretty strong. It is hard to like get to it in the rotation, specifically with this thing. We, I think we maybe have too many combat oriented. Well, I mean, okay, we have one and then a swap which do seem, and a wand is all sort of combat oriented. Uh, and then we have a bunch of recharges that never come up in the right order. So <laughs> that's our current build. Anyway, feeling uh, feeling positive. We got 247 points in eight games. Uh, that's a decent average. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, we're starting with swap again. Um, I mean, this first shot seems pretty good. Let's take it. Double poison, move a door. Move left, bump a shrimp. Seems good. Uh, we would prefer to run away from this. Um, okay, and at this point, I think we attack down. We're not getting hit by this shrimp. Uh, so this is fairly safe. Where did this potion come from? Oh, that's right. I sent a potion from last game. That's great. <laughs> that was with my extra wand. I was just shooting it at treasure to see if I could polymorph it or duplicate it. Uh, but we instead banished it, which is fine. Uh, yeah, we're not getting hit by this, this shrimp because it's currently four poisoned. That was incredible. Okay, we have Earthquake, Identify... Kill the second enemy. It's pretty good. I'm a little scared of shooting wands at that key in case it is polymorph. Although duplicate duplicate would be kind of sick. Let's uh let's shoot one of our wands here. This is um maybe one we don't know anything about. Shoot this at a corner. Could duplicate. Could poly that heals? Okay. I think now we're fine to just shoot. What the hell did we just forget? We forgot Earthquake? Okay, come on. Don't stand on effects that you want, buddy. It, it just just do a little thinking before you before you move. Um Well we did have very good combat ones. Now we have ruined our good combat one, so I guess we're shooting a frog with this and seeing if it has any any additional effects. Okay, that's interesting. Um, is it worth using a burning a swap to gain? Okay, a little. Let's get to the position first. Is it worth burning a swap to gain a health? <laughs> Uh, I think I'd pay a health for a swap, so we'll go with that. All right. Love to shoot this into corners. This is a pretty nice shot if we can get anybody over here, which they are in general moving towards. This shot looks pretty good. Ooh, it empowers my attack, too. That's great news. Let's, uh... Hmm. Maybe... Move left, bop a lizard. Then we're off parity with that lizard. This ghost is actually going to block the second lizard from coming. Um, could hit on the side. No such luck. We can poison... a ghost? I guess... I mean, what do I care? There's two potions on the floor. 
Yeah, I don't... Oh, but I actually can't kill this ghost because I have to, like, chase it. Um... We would like to get this lizard behind this ghost, but it's not possible because the ghost is timid and won't move. Let's, uh... Okay, that didn't... I mean, that didn't work at all. We're taking... Let's just poison the stupid ghost. Uh... Sure, let's identify something on this wand. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Timid ghost, by the way, is hard countered by poison. Um... Okay, that has to be pretty good, right? And then what are we trying to forget? Do we want to forget anything? No. I like these effects. So... Maybe we... Pick this up. Stand, like, here, shoot this up. That doesn't really do anything. I don't know what I was expecting it to do. Do we get around this frog? We do. Cool. He was very cooperative, in fact. Okay. Kill a enemy of the same type. Only really good for lizards on this floor. Step right, do that doesn't seem terrible. How are we dealing with this frog? We have an empower attack. Also creates treasure. We would like to deal with the frog via empowered attack, right? But that means we're taking a damage from this lizard. And then taking another damage when you attack the frog. That doesn't seem great. Uh... I mean, keep it simple, right? Move down, hit a shrimp. I mean, it seems like a solid first move. Now, this is starting to look pretty good, right? We hit more things. Actually, if we move down, it's even better. Now we're hitting three things. Empowering our attack and making treasure. Can't really complain about that. Uh, are we wasting a turn to save a health? I don't know if we've shot this at lizards. I also don't know if we've shot this up. Kills lizards. Uh, identify on my current position is not good. But... What are we doing otherwise against a frog? Maybe swap poison? But maybe down here, because this is the... We would like the door to be... <laughs> in a, a decent position. The switch is parody for us, though, too. Um. That's not bad. Swap. We use this. We identify what this is. Another mirror effect? Okay. Hit through walls. Getting a lot of potions this game. I was gonna say, since when did this extra wand have earthquake? But I didn't know that because I didn't have the extra wand yet. That makes sense. Um, we're on zone of three. This is fine. Shoot. Shoot this down. Make the door. There's maybe a better place to put that. Uh, not really. Oh. There's no dead end that is also a wall, an outside wall. 
We know everything on here. Do we want to forget something? I mean, not really. I'm kind of happy with these ones. I think. Maybe we'd forget... No, no. There's nothing I want to forget. Alright, a lot of shrimp. There's a rooster. It'd be great to get rooster as the second enemy. I don't know if we can do that. Move down, move down. Looks like it might be able to do that. Worst case scenario... We Earthquake everybody? <laughs> uh, again, if we're Earthquaking everyone, I don't know what we're doing to a rooster. I think maybe we're poisoning a rooster. Be nice to learn something about this wand. Actually, what happened to this wand? Didn't this wand used to have poison? Well, what, what happened to this wand? Oh! You dick? <laughs> How did that... How rude. Alright, well, let's learn something about this wand that's currently useless, or largely useless. Or do we just... No, we... I'm sure we shoot this. This is much better. It makes a treasure. It fixes the rooster problem. Then we can shoot this? Uh, no. Not like that, though. Maybe, uh, like this? Kills roosters. Okay. Well, that was a slick floor. Is there anything we want to forget? <laughs> um, not particularly. Maybe we're forgetting something, or maybe we're not forgetting something just so we can burn this wand charge so we can maybe more make more treasure. Although we can always do that next floor. Seems fine. Is it... Does this, like... We would like to figure out something about... Like, does this duplicate? No, it does explode in my face. <laughs> uh, What did we learn here? This grab stuff? Okay. Let's get down here. Uh, that kills on blood. Okay, we're doing fine. Nothing to worry about. Any reason to shoot this somewhere? Could shoot it up? Have we shot this wand up? We have now. Alright, see you later. This shot hits literally everyone? <laughs> And empowers my next attack. It doesn't get the treasure, but it... It hits everybody. <laughs> and that won't be t true next turn. Um... Alright. You've sold me. I didn't take much convincing. I mean, that was great. I loved it. Uh, this explodes and kills things of the same type. That's probably pretty good to shoot up, right? Uh, move left, kill rooster, then we bump uh, a froggo, and then we just have a lizardo left, which we move right, and then shoot this up. What are we identifying? I mean, that potentially could be a treasure effect. I sort of doubt it. Um... Wouldn't we rather, like, identify something on this wand? Let's take the damage to do that. Uh... We need to get this key. I think we're shooting this, like... Down. Well, okay, time out. We need to move down, move up, then shoot this. Okay, that's just empowered attack. Uh, 
We could forget something on this wand and maybe roll it into treasure. By shooting this right. Okay. All right, we're upgrading. Let's upgrade my personal wand. I like this thing. Reveal an effect. Like every time I use the wand. Or carry an extra charge. If this carries an extra charge, does that mean when I recharge it with this recharge, it recharges for three times? Because that's incredible. This has to be right. I mean, a revealing effect is fine, but... Why do I have another charge of this? Did I just gain that when I upgraded it? <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, we'd like to forget an effect on this right wand, I think, right? Let's kill this. Maybe it has treasure on kill. It does not. I think we're moving to this column. Shooting this downward heals us then we're like moving up here shooting this right into a corner to try to get treasure or forget another effect on it is that better no there's no good way to do that is there to get it in a dead end we could we could rely on i think this is fine I mean, I was, I was, let's just do this. Okay. What else do we have left? We have recharge. Well, we can stall forever. We want to stall, in fact, because it gets us more treasure. So. We're poisoning a frog when it comes out. Then we're recharging. Unfortunately, we got this recharge before the wand recharge because we would have wanted to recharge our. Um, other one. I guess this is fine to. What do. I guess this? But I feel like we've checked every potential treasure thing with this. We shot this in a corner, right? When it has two charges, too. That's so many charges. <laughs> I mean, you could, we can forget a lot of effects with this. If I shoot this at a frog, anything interesting happen? Not really. And is there some strategy on how I forget things here? It's like you want to forget things on the wand that already makes treasure. Uh, well, no, because it's going to like overlap. And I don't even know if these th two things can roll treasure at the same time. Okay, I think we've about like exhausted what we can do with this, this wand. The only other thing... Like, I don't think it creates treasure on kill. And I don't think we can get anything else really useful out of it. Uh, this we're recharging this treasure wand, I think. And then just making a book, I guess. And that's 38 puntos. Zona 5. Jogo 9. We're going to... Be on 10 game streak soon. Very exciting. Let's move right and see if we missed any treasure opportunities. No, we did not. We got this treasure and this treasure. Apparently these two wands could hold additional charges. Uh, Would that have helped me in any way? No, because I think we used all our charges for... Or all the charges we had access to for, for treasure, so I think that was fine.
I kept trying to figure out if there's a way to like forget things tactically, but it didn't seem it didn't seem likely that that was going to produce anything good. Um, maybe the only thing I could have improved. Okay, it wouldn't have improved. It would have just been a different test. Oh, actually, there. there okay, there. So there is there is a a reason I would have done this. I think it was better to shoot this wand downward here. Because I've done that with a previous wand where I forget something on itself and then it creates a treasure there. Um, that way, we would have re-rolled. We didn't know that this was... We didn't know one of these because we forgot one of them. Um, with our extra wand. And then shooting down here would give us another chance for a treasure roll. Which I think was a better chance than this rolling two of the treasure things. It'd be better to roll twice for treasure things even though the treasure thing that you're trying to hit is a one out of whatever instead of a two out of whatever. Because this, this this spot right here handles not hitting enemies get a treasure, and it handles dead ends treasure. Uh, but this spot down here only is no hit enemies treasure. I could have also shot it, shot it left if I wanted pillar treasure. Oh, that would have been the play, right? Stand here, shoot left. Then we get a roll for pillar treasure and don't hit enemies treasure. And we get two rolls for it because we re-rolled this, one of these effects up here with the extra wand and then we would have re-rolled it with this too. So I think that was the right play. All right, we'll, we'll consider that next time. Uh, we get some forget effects like that. Cool. All right, see you next time.